Hello fans of Gift and Food and Baking, today I'm going to share with you the most delicious vegan aniseed breadsticks. Although it might look a little bit complicated, but once you prepare all your ingredients, it's so easy to make. For this recipe, I will use one cup of sunflower oil, or you can replace with one cup of olive oil. I have soaked here one teaspoon of aniseed in hot water to flavor it. My other ingredients are very simple, so here I have used 1 tablespoon of salt, 1 tablespoon of nigella seed, 1 tablespoon of fennel seed and 1 and half tablespoon of aniseed seed. As for the raising agent, I will use 2 teaspoons of baking powder which I will add later to the self-raising flour. To sprinkle the breadsticks is optional, whatever seeds you prefer and like. However, here I have used 2 tablespoons of sesame seed, 1 tablespoon of nigella seed and half tablespoon of fennel seed. Since it is vegan aniseed breadsticks and there is no dairy products or eggs, I will use 650 gram of self-raising sifted flour. I will start first by adding 2 teaspoons of baking powder to the self-raising flour and mix it to combine. Just a reminder, especially for baking, always sift the flour so you will end up with a better result. Now add all your mixed seeds and a tablespoon of salt to the flour and mix to combine. More ingredients set aside is 2 tablespoons of dates molasses diluted with 1 teaspoon of water and this will be for brushing the bread sticks. Combine the three seeds together and this will be for sprinkling the breadsticks. Now start sifting first the flavored aniseed water into the flour, then add one cup of oil and with your hands just mix to combine everything. You don't need to knead this dough, just mix to combine until there is no sign of flour at all. Different types of flour might require extra liquid such as oil or water, however mine did not require any more liquids, it was a soft dough, but if you find it needs more liquid add a little bit. After mixing everything together let the dough rest for at least 10 minutes so you will end up with a better result. Use a measuring tablespoon so you will get more accurate and precise bread sticks. Start first by rolling the dough into a ball, then on a flat surface roll it into a long shape until you end up with a breadstick. Continue with the same method, rolling it into a ball, then into a flat surface. Keep rolling it with your two hands until you end up with a long breadstick. This is not a normal vegan breadsticks, this is a very flavoured, nutritious aniseed breadsticks with sesame seed and nigella seeds. Once you have finished rolling all the breadsticks and the dough has rested, now you can start brushing it with the dates molasses and by brushing it with the dates molasses, it glues the rest of the seeds on top of the breadsticks. If you don't want to top up the breadsticks with extra mixed seeds, then you don't need to brush it with the molasses mix, just leave it as it is. After brushing it with the dates molasses, now we can sprinkle the breadsticks with your mixed sesame seeds. Now we can start baking the breadsticks at a preheated fan oven of 180 Celsius for 15 to 20 minutes depending on conventional ovens. Once they are golden brown color, remove from the oven and now enjoy the breadsticks simple it is to make this vegan aniseed breadsticks. They're not only vegan but they're crunchy, light and so tasty with all these multi seeds. <laughs> Being a Sudanese nation we really indulge ourselves eating this aniseed breadsticks with a nice cup of tea or snacking next to it feta cheese. Thank you very much for watching this video. For more Sudanese, Egyptian, African or any other recipes, please like, share and subscribe to my YouTube channel Gift of Food and Baking. Until I see you, bye!